Hello friends, welcome back to Sally is a dog numero dos. It's two for those of you who don't speak Spanish. If you've been watching these videos and thought, man, I wish Sally would level up more than one gun a video, you are in luck because today I'm leveling up two. I will tell you why, but first let's take a look at gun number one. It is the Holger. No, not that one, the other one. This is the LMG, although it kind of just shoots like an AR. And the mobility speed is that of an assault rifle. It is for that reason in particular that I think once Warzone drops, this will actually be one of the best guns to use. And by the way, that's kind of why I'm doing these. But what started as a way to just level up guns for Warzone is slowly turned into a, uh, hey, I kind of like zombies. Maybe I should actually turn the second channel to a zombies thing. The second gun is to be determined. I might go to a mystery box and buy one. I might just equip one here. It might be a sniper rifle. I don't know. I've been reading your comments and as I go to equip this double weapon XP for a very long time, an hour and a half is probably what I'm going to need. I am going to attempt to take some of that feedback, which you have so graciously given me and taught me how to play this game mode and share it with those who haven't read the comments or have not learned these things yet. Let me quench my thirst so I can keep talking at a mile per minute. Oh, I understand diet sodas probably aren't the best, and as someone who is missing a tooth, I know that more than anybody, but it just, it tastes so good, I gotta do it. Now back to the Holger, okay? Oh, this is where I dropped in my first ever game of zombies. I love that. Let's take a peek at this here Holger. It's pretty. I forgot to put a cool camo on it. That's okay. You're just gonna have to live without it. Now, I would love to tell you that this is my first time using this gun in zombies, but it is not. I had a full hour and a half long recording of me leveling it up, using a bunch of different contracts to do so, and then the zombies game just completely crashed my PC, not just like dev aired. It made the entire PC shut down. I think it overwhelmed my entire CPU and my computer just said, nah, man, we're out of here, which normally wouldn't be an issue, except I recorded in an MP4 format, meaning if the recording stops or is abruptly cut off, it's just, it's, it's over. It's gone. The recording is gone forever, except I went in with my super hacker skills and I went to GitHub and I downloaded a couple programs that should have hopefully made it easy to recover. Um, that didn't work because I used two track audio. So I have one audio track that goes with like the guns that you're hearing. And then I have another one, which is my annoying voice. And it only saved the zombies thing. So basically it's just my mouth moving a mile a minute, but you can't hear any of it. So, you know, I would be lying if I said that wasn't a huge disappointment. This Holger is a level 13 out of 20, but you know, what isn't a disappointment, guys, and I just want to say a quick thank you, and then I'll get back to shooting zombies. I started the second channel, Sally is a Dog 2, as we established at the top. I started it because I was like, man, I don't know. It's always good to have multiple channels. It's kind of just fun to post what I want without having to worry if I am, like, destroying my first channel. But you guys have just absolutely blown this channel up. Our last video did complete numbers, like first channel numbers, which is wild because the first channel has, I don't know, we have over a million subscribers, and this one has close to, like, 28, at least at the time of this recording. You guys continually make that go up and up and up. So a big thank you is in order to everyone who has watched, liked, subscribed, and now a call to action. If anyone has not done those things, I wouldn't hate it if you did. But get on this train. It's leaving the station. Okay, enough of that. Back to zombies. One of the more prevalent comments, I think I would say, that I've received is that like rarity really matters when it comes to your gun. And so I didn't lose everything when my game completely crashed, although, you know, I lost a lot. I don't have a two plate armor vest, but I did have a at least an uncommon ether tool, which I will attach to this gun. So now it's like at least uncommon, which means it's stronger. I learned that the hard way because I went into the orange zone and tried to kill a couple bounty contracts. I had a gun pack a punch, but really it didn't do enough because it was just common. Ether nest. Okay, let's start with this first and then we're gonna go do some other contracts to level this up quick. I wish I had a gas mask to shoot this. Oh, we already leveled it up one. That's a big W. I gotta get out of dodge because usually I have a gun pack-a-punch because it's just a lot of fun to do. Like, pack-a-punching a gun seems really cool. There are also a couple ways that you guys have taught me. I say that, like, not, not even being sarcastic. You guys have simply taught me how to do this. I'm looking for one more spore. I don't know where it is, and now I could die. Just kidding. I'm good. You guys have taught me a couple different ways to level up. Go Wait, is that a... Mer Who's shooting me? Oh, it's mercenaries in their car. Oh, no, I don't have a self-revive. That's the other thing that I don't have. I need to run away. If you watch all these videos, you know that I have a love-hate relationship with the mercenaries. I'm looking for one more cyst. That's literally all I need to shoot. Sometimes those lights look... Oh, you're behind the cash register. Now, let me... Oh, fuck me. I don't have the patience for this. I can't be dying in the very start of the video. Can't happen. If that happens, I have to go play Invasion, and I really don't want to do that. But in the game where everything... Decide Wait, there's still another one? No way! Oh, hiding in the corner. Okay, sorry guys, we got there. Now let me tell you about the contracts. There are a couple contracts that you can use to level up your gun super quick. The first is, oh good, I got an uncommon ether tool. We'll get rid of my canned goods for that and I will just equip my frozen mod, which apparently is a good way to kill. I think it's the disciple you guys said? Oh, a TVR, I don't have this unlocked yet. 
The first is an Outlast contract, which was not the one I was using in the video that didn't happen, that you will never see. That video is lost to the ether. No one will ever see it. And the other one you can do is a egg contract. I always forget what it is. I have no idea what this does, but I'm going to equip it and maybe use it at some point. And if it's really good and you guys are like, Sally, that was dumb. You should have exfilled with that. I'm real sorry. See you later, alligator. But right now, I'm going to pick up this bounty. We're going to go beep bop boop beep bop. And I am going to try to kill it with an uncommon holger. 210 meters away. Let me just try this pistol out. Wow, aim assist with this is really hard. It just takes a long time to shoot. But what am I doing? I'm using the wrong gun. We got to level up this holger. Let's just shoot some people with it. Boy, this is a lot of steps. I'm going to be winded by the time I get to the top. <sighs> Oh, the egg contract is called Spore Control, I believe. Spawn Control, one or the other, I can't remember. And how you do that one is, wow, a lot of hellhounds. I'm gonna shoot those from a distance. Wait, are they farming hellhounds over here? What is happening? I mean, we did level it up one, that's neat. All right, let's go find out what my bounty is. Oh, okay. This is the guy that I gotta shoot his arm. That's something I learned from you guys, so thank you. Oh, fuck me. Time to find out what this tactical does. Okay, it looks pretty good. I understand why it's a rare thing now. Now I gotta shoot him, hopefully kill him. See you later, you're dead. And I should have leveled it up another one. That's a W. Now that that's done, let me explain to you my grand plan, my master plan for this video. I'm gonna go to that pack-a-punch machine. Why? Because it's the closest one that I can get to. I am going to pack-a-punch my Holger, and then we are gonna go to a few different contracts. I think with this one, we're gonna try to find a spore control, although they are like, I think they're fairly popular now. Wait, I actually need ammo for these guys, so hold on, let me just shoot them in the face. Any of you guys got ammo? Those sweet, sweet ammo pouches? There's one, thank you. So yeah, we're gonna go over to this, we're gonna pack-a-punch my Holger, and I'm gonna try to do a spore control. If I didn't say it already, they are usually hotly contested because it is one of the best ways to level up zombie stuff. And you know what? Aim assist feels so weird on this. I might actually turn it off for this video. Does this pistol have a cool weapon inspect? That's my question. Um, not really. That's a little bit disappointing. Usually the pistols they do a really good job with. And then in the next one, after I hopefully have a little bit better loot and better upgrade tools, we're gonna go and do an Outlast contract. And then while we are doing that, while we are doing these contracts, I'm gonna tell you why I think the Holger is going to be the Warzone meta on day one. We have the necessary funds. Let us go pack this gun. Boom, it is done. Slap you little shits. All right, so we get a hundred round mag on this thing. I shouldn't have to do too many contracts. Oh, look at that. There's a spore control right there. Actually, I think I'm gonna do one bounty because I wanna stock up on things. Another suggestion that I got in the comments a lot was like, you need to farm items. You just simply need to. And one way to get a lot of items and at least buy some things is to do contracts. Since they patched the X fill leveling strategy, there's really not a lot of other ways to do it other than contracts. We do our little beep boop bops. We go shoot this guy in the head and now we go find okay he's close long rage god insta kill makes me feel like an actual god i'm not sure if i've complained about this to you guys yet but one thing i would love to see them do in this game mode is to put more vehicles in especially given the fact that slide canceling does not actually reset your tax sprint i know they sped it up recently what am i gonna get this time who are you okay let's go the same guy let me dodge that reload and run away do it all again get hit with the shaboom this guy's like shooting his own people it's actually super metal. It's so much better with the Pack-a-Punch gun. Wow, that went really quick. This is kind of a cheat code. I think you get the same amount of XP for doing bounties in the gray zone as you do in any other zone. Now let's go back over to my Spore I Control. I was hoping to get a lot of better things from him, and I sure did it. Now, before we did that bounty, I told you I would give you reasons why I think the Holger is going to be one of the Warzone metas on day one. I am a man of my word. I intend to honor that commitment. Let me just shoot these four zombies. Okay, the reasons why I think it's going to be good. Number one, it is technically an LMG, meaning it packs an LMG type of punch. No pun intended between, like, packing an action punch and zombies look at this four more they just travel in what quads i'm playing solo quads against the zombies number two it shoots really fast for an lmg and has a 60 round mag as a default but the reload time is like a 60 round ar it doesn't take a long time to actually get a new mag in there let me do my beep bop boop bop dance beep bop boop bop and the third is that there's like really not a lot of recoil on it i obviously have some attachments on this now but even when i took it off stock it was actually ripping and that 60 round mag is something that happens right off the right off the bat hello eggs okay so here is the contract by the way that will help me level up this holger i should finish leveling this thing up by the time this contract is done if it's done because that's actually the trick with this is you never actually finish it find a group of spores you open them up and a whole bunch of zombies just come through and then you you just never end you never end the contract you just keep shooting them they keep showing up. Rinse, wash, repeat. 
Look at that, level 18. Oh, I didn't mean to kill that spore. That's on me. Is this the most mentally stimulating way to get XP and level up your guns? Decidedly, no. I would say it is not. I don't think anyone would say otherwise. You're kind of mindlessly shooting zombies for hours at a time. Let me get more of these spore control things and continue this on. I don't want to nuke you. I want to shoot you. It's a pretty good catchphrase, guys. Now, eventually, my little things that I put down there, my spore control mechanisms, they probably have an actual name. I don't know it. Those eventually go away. So you got to do it all over again. Now, you could definitely just finish this contract, get standard XP points for doing contracts like we've done with two bounties so far. Or you could... Oh, no. Wh where did it go? Did I accidentally shoot it i think i did it's okay we have more spores but anyway yes you could finish this contract that is decidedly something that you could do in fact right before i exfil i probably will do that at least once i have this thing fully leveled or close to fully leveled because i don't know it just seems like something that i should do you start something you gotta finish it it's okay hello Goodbye. Now, you're probably noticing that this is not nearly as many zombies as the original Exfil strategy. And yeah, you'd be correct. They decided that, you know, we're not going to... Oh, no, I thought my game was crashing. I need to get out of here quick. It feels like something bad's about to happen. But yeah, they decided that that's not a thing that they want people to be able to do. And that's an interesting... I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. Zombies is like a new mode, and you got to pay for it. Like, unlike DMZ, you actually had to pay, what, 70 bucks for this thing. For people like me who do this for a living, that's, you know... 70 bucks isn't the worst thing in the world, but that's a lot of money to a lot of people. Number two, I can just write this off on my taxes, so I'm not super worried about it. Oh, I got another cool grenade thing. And by having this game mode, like, be the best way to level up guns, I'm surprised that they got rid of it because, like, there is a reason. Oh, okay. It gives people a reason to try out this game mode for the first time, right? Like, if you want to grow a specific mode, sometimes having, I'll, I'll just say it, easy ways to level up guns in it is kind of the way. There's always going to be one game mode that is the best for leveling. Usually it's like hard point and multiplayer. And maybe they did the calculation that, oh, zombies players aren't spending as much in the store or they're not playing X amount of maps. All they're doing is doing this and getting it leveled up for Warzone, which like I would say, what's the point of any of the multiplayer things if not leveling up for Warzone? Anyway, that's just my two cents. I have one more level to go on this Holger. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited that I didn't have to play any invasion to level it up. And I still have no idea what the next gun should be. Look at that. We're we're done. I think I have to get three kills with a wall by gun. Now I'll destroy the spores with this so I can at least level it up. The something enforcer. I forget which one it is. Oh no, no, no. I can't I can't die while doing this. It simply can't be done. It's attack rifle, so I'm just doing this because I have a double up and XP on. I've already maxed out my Holger. Like, there's really no need. Oh, look at that. I already leveled it up too. This is not gonna be the second gun that we're doing, by the way. Attack rifles are really not fun. Alright, I have one spore left. Let's go put my little thinger on the egg. Oh, I have two, I lied. I never looked at the minimap. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Hello, my glistening egg. There is an onion article from like, man, it must have been like 2016, I think. It was like Ted Cruz suspends presidential campaign to tend to his glistening eggs. And every time I do this contract, I think about that Onion article in Ted Cruz's really ugly face. He's a dingus, and if you think otherwise, I disagree with you. Level three. This is actually... Okay. I want to do an SMG, I think. SMG or a sniper. I do have a cat sniper that I actually filled with. It's a legendary one. And I will also give you a couple good classes for the Holger that I think will be good in Warzone, at least day one. So, like, copy those down, jot it down. I will probably be doing more, like, Warzone stuff on the main channel, though. So, I'm pretty positive you're going to see a Holger video there at some point. Let me just put on this plate and destroy this egg. We'll see you later. Let me give me give me my gift. Now I think I'm just gonna exfil so I can actually leave with good things. Is there a buy close to me? I might go get a two plate vest right now. I have the money for it. I bought a two plate vest, a medium backpack, and a precision because you never know when you're gonna need a precision airstrike. What is this thing on my screen and why is it still there? One thing that cracks me up about zombies mode and actually DMZ in general is like DMZ stayed with the beta tag the entire time the game was out. Even if you go back and look now, it still says DMZ beta and they put out zombies in a beta. For I hope this tack rifle isn't meta. Tack rifles are annoying. They just, they don't feel satisfying to me. I don't know about you guys. I'm just farming these guys for the last XP they're worth is when my helicopter comes in, wherever it is. Yeah, hurry your ass up. Level four. Hey, Kevin, what's your ETA? I cannot control him. Also not sure if you heard the Google Home going off saying like, I need help downstairs with the kid. So that's actually what I'm going to do. There is no second gun. Tune in tomorrow because I will do it then. I'm sorry, duty calls. I must answer. The game is literally Call of Duty. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you tomorrow.